Hello everybody, today we are going to do a BNC cable connection so your BNC cable can go from looking like this to like this with an easy to follow step by step guide. So for this video and for this cable connection you're going to need crimps, Stanley blade, pair of snips, screwdriver and the three parts of the top of the BNC connector which is a ferrule, centre pin and a connector body. Let's get cracking. So let's begin. The first thing I want you to do is get the end of the cable that you want to terminate and get your ferrule and put the ferrule over the top. Do this first because trust me, it's easy to forget to do this and if you terminate the cable at the end and you haven't done this, you have to do it all over again. So next, after you put the ferrule on, get your connector body and just put that at the end of where the cable is and get your Stanley blade and just make, and be careful with this, but just make a light incision about a centimetre below where the connector body ends. Put that back over there. And then all you're gonna do with this is using your Stanley blade, press in lightly and make a circle around the cable, only going through about halfway through of the cable. You don't wanna go all the way through, just halfway through. So just have a bit of feel with it and have a bit of a play with it. There's no rush on this bit. Take your time because you can always go around it again if you need to. Just lightly press in and then it should start to come away just like that. And then you can pull the end off. And as long as you haven't pressed too hard, you won't have cut through this inner sheath here. So when you've got that, work that around and then just twist and you should have something that looks just like this now by using your connector body again if you put this next to the cable and you can just see this thinner part at the bottom here and on this inner sheath part this plastic part you just want to get your snips and give a light press into one side, not cutting through the cable, the, the copper that is in the middle. So put that back again. This is just an easy way to do it because you can use the measurements by the things you've already got, you know, in case you forget your tape measure or anything like that. And then just go around this part here and cut. Careful again, not to go through the wire that's in the middle. And then using your snips, press in and pull that bit off and you'll have something that looks a bit like this. Then using your center pin for the next measurement, there's a fat part of the bottom of the center pin. So you want to put the center pin against the, goal, uh, against the copper and just see where the fat part of the center pin ends, which is about there. So I'm going to cut that about there. and you're left with something that looks like this. Now, get your center pin and put your center pin onto the end, just like that, onto the copper. Then get your crimps, and in your crimps, if you've got proper BNC crimps, you'll have a very small crimp. I think it does have an actual name, 890, it's got next to it there, but you've got a small crimp and it fits in, and you put it in just like that. Right, and then crimp down. And then that gold there has been crimped onto that cable and it's nice and secure. Give it a little pull to make sure it's not coming off. Once you've done that, get your connector body and push your connector body on and let it go through the center there until you hear it click. Hear that click? There you go. That is now clicked into place. And you should be able to feel, if you just run your finger across the top, you'll be able to feel the gold bar, you know, the uh, center pin at the top, and you know that's got a good connection through there. And this now won't pull off, okay? This will be solid. Then, get your ferrule. Now, you don't need all of this, okay? This just needs to touch this part of the BNC, so you can get your snips, and you can just cut this away. Still making sure that you've got enough there so you're going to crimp onto that part 
and push your ferrule up, just work it up, twist and work it up until you've got something that looks just like this. Then get your crimps and with your BNC crimps, it's usually the first one in the line. Put it on just like that and give it a good push. Yeah, right. And that is now crimped on. So you have one end exactly the same as the other and that is a BNC cable, how to completely terminate and that is solid and will be secure forever. Maybe you'd be interested in how to make your own internet cable. If so, click here.